so beyond the last time we met, you were telling me about Generation Kill and mm. how the fans across the world have warmed up to you and uh, I mean all the fan mail you've been getting. So um, how do you feel, you know, when you get all these fan mail from overseas and, and people writing as if they know you so well and what, what does that do for you? It's incredible. It's, it's almost why you're in this business. I know it sounds cliche, but like to hear feedback and positive feedback from people is amazing, you know, and a lot of... A lot of the people are very uh, involved with the military and uh, so a lot of the, the, the topics and themes of the show really resonated with them and to their heart and you can, you can hear that because they, they let you know how much the show means to them. So now for people that don't know about the Generation Kill fan base, yes. give us a little bit of insight of what exactly the fan base consists of and what they have got going in terms of online communities right. and, and how they you know, revive the show and keep it alive for the rest of the world to know about what they do. Well, what they've got going on is that they are the rock stars of the fan world. And yes, I said it, I've told you before and I'll tell you again. Um, they, they do everything, man. They're all over the place. They've got the, the Generation Kill Insider website, which has been up and running from... Um, uh, Deanne Cooper uh, is, the, is the head of that. Um, she pulled everything together, all out of love. Um, got photos from all of us, did interviews with us, compiled this amazing uh, website and now it's up and running. She's, uh, she's also helping us with, with uh, PR on, on, the fan, on the fan pages mm -hmm. for me, Rudy um, and then there's the Bells who, and they sort of control the whole situation and that is uh, Deanne, Sean and Beth. Okay. One love, I love you guys. I told you all the time and last time I didn't get enough to say it. So that is a special mention for you guys. Thanks for everything. I really appreciate it. Uh, and you guys have been amazing. I mean, I've really got to know those, the, those girls now and it's, it's closed, the, it's, it's bridged the gap sort of between just a fan and, and a friend, you know? Um, obviously, I still love all the fan mail that we, that we get, the, the messages. I get all your messages, I can't always reply. But I do like to read all of them and it really does mean a lot. And, then, and just in, in terms of how, you know, the recognition that you get from the fans, what does it mean to you to have your work validated and obviously, you know, the craft of acting is something I know you're quite passionate about and yes. you get them to recognize and compliment you on your good work. What does that mean to you? I mean, that's everything. I mean, that's what it's all about. It, at the end of the day, if you're only doing something for yourself, it means nothing. Um, you've got to be working with a, with a, a sort of with an audience you know and as an actor your audience is everything and when your audience connects with you it's the biggest thing that you can ask as an actor um, so it really what it means to me is it keeps me going man. you know because there are tough times in this industry and you gotta you gotta listen to those things to keep you going you know um, so it's an important place and uh, I don't think anybody any of the superstars would be where they are without without proper support you know because the industry doesn't give you much support now from the co-stars of Generation Q, is yes. there anybody that you're still in contact with these days? Yeah, um, I've been, I just actually like spent the last day now with uh, one of my best friends, uh, Jonah Lotan, who plays Doc Bryan. Uh, he's had a bit of a rough year, but it was nice to catch up with him. I mean, uh, we became really close on, on set. Uh, Manimal, speak to all the time. Eric Layden plays Chafin. Um, John Huertas from The Castle. All the guys are, are, are still in contact, you know, and a lot of the big guys are are really busy so we don't really keep in contact that much anymore um, but I mean when we get back to the States it's we always have reunions and it's a really epic time it's, it's amazing so what's the one message you want to give out to your fans for 2011 for all the support they've given you and this is your chance now to thank them um, live on camera live on camera guys I've said it before thank you so much I really appreciate everything you guys do for me all the tweets all the mails all the help on, on the on the on the website and GK inside a website if you haven't seen the GK inside a website go go watch it there's a whole lot of interviews pictures and stuff on generation kill thank you so much and I look forward to 2011 I'm feeding you guys a lot more stuff there's a lot of cool stuff coming up. so Bjorn thanks yes. for taking the time to chat to me no? all the best for 2011 and I'm sure all the GK fans will show you even more love throughout the year ahead and I know you're going to do them all proud. I so will, I will. Thank enjoy. You. Yeah, thank you so much. Be good. Have a run. I'll see you guys later.